So let's now turn our attention to synchronizing. When the generator is switched into the power system, it is not sufficient to just close the circuit breaker. Certain definite conditions must be set up before the generator can be synchronized to the system. The first thing is that the generator must be running at its rated speed. This is done by adjusting the governor set point. Second, the generator terminal voltage must be adjusted to equal that of the bus to which it is being synchronized. This is done by adjusting the excitation. As the strength of the magnetic field is increased or decreased, so will the terminal voltage rise or fall. The third very important factor is that the incoming generator voltage must be in phase with the bus voltage. What do we mean by this? Well, look at this example showing one phase only. Here is the sine wave representing the bus voltage, and here, superimposed, is the incoming generator voltage. You can see that the generator is over 90 degrees out of phase. If we closed the breaker in this situation, the generator would attempt to pull itself into phase. Now this could twist the windings in the stator core and create considerable damage. Of course, the great surge of power would be detected and the breaker immediately opened by protection devices. In order to provide the correct conditions for synchronization, we need to very gently adjust the speed of the incoming generator so as to bring it into phase with the bus. At the moment that the two are in phase, the breaker should be closed and the unit will then lock into synchronism with the power system. On most modern units, this synchronization is performed automatically. However, you may find the need to do this manually on certain occasions. For this purpose, a synchroscope is provided. This is connected to either side of the breaker and in fact indicates the difference in phase between the two sides. For example, this condition shows that the generator is 90 degrees out of phase with the bus. As the pointer is stationary, it also indicates that the speed, that is the frequency, of both the system and the incoming generator are identical. More often than not, you will see the pointer slowly rotating like this, indicating a slight variation in speed. In the case shown, the incoming generator is running slightly faster. If the rotation is slow enough, you can manually close the circuit breaker just before the pointer reaches the midnight position. The machine will then lock itself in synchronism and start providing power. In order to further increase power output, it is necessary to add more torque to the unit. This is done by increasing the steam flow to the turbine. But can we not also increase real power output, that is megawatts, by increasing excitation? The answer is a definite no. Increasing the excitation will only increase voltage to a certain extent and will also increase the reactive power output of the generator. We'll be talking about this later.